this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here with uh, director Christoph Janusi uh, with his new film Foreign Body. Um, so you uh, remain quite prolific uh, and I was surprised to read that uh, you also are a professor at, excuse me if I pronounce anything incorrectly, uh, Salesian University. Yes. And you also run uh, Tor Film Studios out of Poland. Mm -hmm. So you're very busy. Yes, I am busy. We have nothing better to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still uh, have a consistent output of films. Yes, and I work quite a lot for stage when I'm not yes, making yes. a film. So I am busy. Yes, that's, that's, that's very... my joy. And I lecture a lot in various places all over the world. So I'm in a way lucky because I have still forces to do that. I'm 75, so in my age, it could have been much worse. <laughs> it isn't till now. And my late mother, who is now passed away, but she was <coughs> almost 100 years old, she had a saying, she coined a saying that it is unelegant to die healthy. Because when you have health, you have to use it. Like right. money in the bank, it is nonsense to die healthy. That's uh, I'd so that's exploit my health <laughs> quite strongly, maybe too much. Maybe one day I will regret, but up to now I don't. That's very impressive. Um, so your new film, I was curious about uh, what was the inspiration behind it originally? Oh, it was always the same kind of inspiration. I observed the world, I am involved in many actions. And this new phenomenon of the new slavery that corporations bring us is something I noticed and I thought it is time to comment on it because I think the old films talk about life, about our quest for happiness, for fulfillment, but the circumstances change and the new circumstances produce new traps or new dangers. So that's my task to talk about it. The, uh, the title represents uh presents the film as a, an allegory. Yeah, that's um, right. Not only is your main character uh, an, an actual foreign body in Poland, uh, but the film is dealing with um, kind of the differentiation between old and new worlds, the old world and the new, ca new capitalism, as I understand it. Right, yes, that's true. The, 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 the highly developed, that's what the corporations bring. And what they bring to us is particularly nasty. Because there's an enormous amount of corruption that Western uh, structures bring shamelessly, not only to Poland, but to all Central Europe. They have power. But to our great astonishment, most of them have very low morale. And I use the expression which I caught talking to some executives when they call the bribe humanitarian aid. Well, it's particularly cynical. They don't want to say bribe, but they give these bribes very generously and they incited the corruption which is already potentially there. Of course there are corruption, there are exceptions and companies like IKEA have a much better reputation than the right, others right. because they at least they pronounce some principles and I hope they observe them. It's not up to me to judge. But many of them are absolutely scrupulous and they contribute to the destruction of the society instead of helping building healthy economy. Um, which is kind of represented by the character played by uh, Agnieszka Groszowska, mm -hmm. um, who uh, in comparison um, represents the new while the first woman excuse me I don't have the actress's name in front of me that the one that is becoming a, a nun a nun that is leaving is behind uh, Ricardo Leonelli yeah. um, she represents kind of the, the old world I wonder if it's the old world this is the world An old that always thing. existed <coughs> but this is the somebody who had <coughs> some sort of spiritual vocation very extreme one and you have a Orthodox monk who is somehow verbalizing something which she is not talking about herself, but that's the same kind of case. It happens that some people feel this voc vocation and, and then they, they, they often follow it. So this is what happened to, uh, to, to, to this character. But 
Can you ask yesterday on, uh, during the screening in the Republic, is there no alternative? Is there only religious religion or cynical materialism? Right. And I had a hard time to find an answer because I am afraid there is no alternative. I don't know one. I'm looking for it. Why not? I'm open to all all possible visions. But I insist that our civilization that has been based on Judeo-Christian roots in 2000 years brought such kind of acceleration and such an enormous improvement of human life that no other civilization ever thrived. Look on Egyptian civilization, on Indian, on Chinese, South American. They were all very stagnant. The whole concept of progress and development is ours. And it came from some concept of freedom, of human being, that religion has developed. In spite of all the abuses, I'm not blind to the terrible abuses of all believers, but there was some power behind it. And I think this power is still there. And at the same time, I don't want to be a preacher. And I show my leading character losing his faith. That happens to many. The faith is not something that you have forever. And you cannot put it in the refrigerator, as we would all wish to. The same with love. When right. you have love, love is, has to be cultivated or it fades down. So I don't try, I don't, I'm not, I try not to be an easy moralist, and I'm not telling that good doings will be rewarded and evil will be punished all the opposite way around. Right. The mother is the, the negative character, and, and her daughter, they're both, well, the daughter is punished by by other reasons, but there is no justice on this world. I, I want to state it, because we have to be ready to confront it. Right, and I, I could feel that for your main character in the film. It feels like he has, he's between a rock and a hard place. He's, yes. there's, he doesn't fit anywhere, not a, be, between his choices. Yes, that's why he's a foreign body. In yes. fact, you know, I wanted this translation of the title I invented in Polish to be alien from it. And I was warned that if it was a poem, people would understand. But if it's a film, they would think about little green creatures. Yeah, and true. alien is more general. It means it doesn't fit. Yes, yes. And in Russian and in Polish and also in Italian, it has a little more metaphorical meaning. But English has this nature to be down to earth. Oh, yes. Very, very, li very literal. <laughs> yes. Um, is there any reason uh, why he's Italian specifically? Or... Well, it is because there is a big... I, I am attached to Italy, and I see there is a strong religious revival in Italy, like, like even in France. These two countries, and in Spain, I see there is some energy among the young people, but there is also tremendous corruption and, and very deep despair what they see among young people. So I picked him, but of course it's not it's not necessarily because I'm of Italian origin. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, it's just interesting uh, looking back over your uh, extensive filmography, uh, I see you tend to favor placing uh, people in places they're not from. Like, I saw oh, yeah. I saw The Unapproachable recently. Yeah. Oh, you you have Leslie Caron in, uh, uh -huh. she's, I think, believe she's in Austria. Yes, and, yes, yes. Uh, and then the British actor in there too, Danny Webb. Yes, and yes. then um, I saw the Catamount killing. Oh, really? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> very it's old prince, yes. Second life. Um, very, uh, yeah, with, uh, if I'm saying his name right, Horse Buckles. Yes, Horse Buckles. He's um, already there. With Anna and Ad Wedgworth, you know, the, right. like these kind of odd pairings of people mm. in places they're not from. Um, but you know, this is part of my own life experience because my, on the father's side, Pure side, I think you say in English. I have this Italian roots. So my father was fighting very hard to lose his Italianizing. He wanted to be native. So I have this feeling that when you don't fit to the place, it makes you maybe more aware of who you are. Because when you are very well installed, integrated with your village, you sometimes lose the sense of your 
of your individuality. Yeah. So I'm more interested in such cases, but that's... Strangers in a strange land. Right. Yeah. Okay. Which is a natural thing for a human being, I think. There's the truth about that. Yeah. Because we're always trying to solve the... We have illusions sometimes that this integration is possible. Yes, yeah, I agree with that. It just, it feels... They are, the films tend to feel kind of, um, you know, almost cosmopolitan. Very well, but also there is this globalization reality which is appearing now that in Europe we be more and more mixed. You know, if I shot this film in English, I did it because it is a vehicular language to most of Europe. And that's why we don't even respect these rules. We right. just try to communicate. Right, right. That makes sense. Um, I guess I want to end with... Uh, I really uh, liked the score, very pronounced score in the film. Oh, well, this evokes my very sad recollection. I work all my life long, and I think it is the only case in history of cinema that one director worked with the same composer in all his films, with no exception, and it was well over 40 productions we have done together. In the meantime, my composer worked with Francis Ford Coppola, he wrote Dracula, he wrote music to the Pot of a Lady okay. in Campion. He got a Caesar Prize, which is like Oscar in France, for a pianist of Polanski. Yes. So he was a very big composer, and he was mostly composer of cinema. And he was a very close friend of mine. A couple of years senior from his and he passed away this week. So this is the last oh. music of him. Oh, yes. I didn't even Well, it was, it was already a compilation. He started to write it, he didn't finish. And so our, our collaboration is interrupted. But I'm glad you liked it. I'm, so, I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, but I am familiar with his other work too, but it, it's, um, it adds a certain uh, level of beauty to the film. I really, I really enjoyed it.